Day four of Senator Mike Duffy testifying at his own defense at his criminal fraud and breach of trust and bribery trial, or as it feels, day 1,000. Uh, this was the day where one's will to live was truly tested. Um, and in my case, sometimes found lacking, I must say. Um, what I hadn't realized uh, about a senator's job was that it was so wholly devoted to the poor and disadvantaged. Uh, Senator Duffy uh, describes uh, what he did really for the Conservative Party not as fundraising but as friend raising. His job because of his high public profile as a veteran broadcaster at both CTV and CBC, his job he said was to go around and provide what in political terms is called third party validation for various conservative types because even back then in 2009 of course there were people who saw Stephen Harper as a dark force and his henchmen as evil and pro probably properly so by the way uh, as I think they probably all are um, but who saw the government in this particular light and according to Duffy the reason the real reason that he and Pam Wallen and Senator Patrick Brazo were actually appointed to the Senate was because they would provide in their public appearances with other conservative figures, other less popular conservative figures, this third party validation. He would friend raise. Who could not love him after all? He's Mike Duffy and essentially that's what he said. He described what he did as he traveled across the country business class of course because that's how senators travel. Um, really is sort of functioning as a kind of um, on-the-road therapist. He, he listened to people, he was moved by their stories, he said everybody wants to tell their story and part of his job was to to listen to it and he was often, he said, touched and uh, you know warmed by people's stories. I, I mean really it is all quite preposterous. He, he de describes it as little short of very well paid charity work but always done you know with the purest of motives and all of that I mean it w it got to the point frankly where I thought that at some point the prosecutors might just well stand up and say your honor we're gonna withdraw all the criminal charges clearly we've got the wrong man here this is a good noble man and then they would lift Mr. Duffy to their shoulders and perhaps carry him triumphantly to Parliament Hill where he would receive an honor of some sort for his his hardship and that is Mike Duffy day four the most misunderstood man in Canada